Hello, I'm Karen Brooks Nelson from the Document Camera Experts. We're North America's largest supplier of document cameras. Here we have an AverMedia AverVision CP300 document camera, and we're going to attach it to this microscope, and it's like one found in your school. Before we start, we're going to make sure that we've powered on the projector. We have power to the microscope because we want light coming from underneath, and we've also powered on the document camera. I also have attached a VGA cable that goes from the RGB out on the AverVision CP300 to the projector and I put it to the in port on that machine. We're going to use an adapter and when you buy these they come two to a box and that's to fit the different eyepieces that you have with your microscopes. For this one we'll use the 28 millimeter and if you look at it you'll see that it's got a hollow body, it's plastic, there are three screws and there's an adapter at the end that will fit exactly onto the CP300 head. So I'm going to raise the head and depress the clip at the front to remove the light housing. And I'll pull that back. It's hinged so you're not going to lose it. And I'll match up the magnet and the clip to the head of this document camera. There we go. Now I'm raising the arm and we'll fit it over the microscope and tighten the screws. And already you can see the image starting to appear. I'm just going to secure that. And now we'll press the autofocus to get an even clearer image. And there's our lovely image of our cell. So thank you for watching and come and visit us at www.documentcameraexperts.com to see our large supply of document cameras and to see other training videos. Bye for now.